What's up y'all? Today I got a different session. I'm working on a track that I'd like to use as like a podcast intro or background music for some of the videos that we're doing for the playbook. So I wanted some original music. I reached out to a friend of mine here in town. Luke Aarons came through with an awesome track. So I'm just going to lay a couple of overdubs on top of that to add more of a acoustic Nashville feel on top of what you'll hear is more of a hip hop track. I wanted something like uplifting, positive, something that you'd want to listen to if you were going to go work out in the gym or something that just got you pumped up. So that's where the hip hop vibe comes from. We're going to balance it out with some uh, country dobro here. So y'all check it out. Arguably the most important part of the recording process. Tune your instruments. If not every pass, every other pass. Awesome. I want to... See if we can monitor this through the logic this time so I can hear some verb. I'll put this on a bus later, but just to get going, I'll, I'll throw it right there. I'm just trying to create like a tone or like a vibe. So I normally wouldn't stack my delays and verbs like this, but, but I'm just trying to get a vibe going that I can, I can lay down a track to. Just keep, since I'm monitoring through logic, I'll go up here to my buffer size and bump that down. Hell yeah. Barely any latency. So we got, I'm just gonna do some riffs. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, per usual. Like kind of a more for sure ending so I want to give it one more shot didn't mind that let me just get one more take of it let's dive in here and comp something up see what we come up with Pretty cool, I wanna listen to what's going on here. I knew I left room for that compressor. going on there we're definitely not going to keep it all but let's come through one more time now that I got a comp and listen for the cool parts mm -hmm. 
Awesome. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate my track just so I have original. Copy and paste this down. I'll mute it. Click H. We can hide that track. So now the reason I did that because I want to go ahead and flatten and merge. I'm for sure not going to use all this so I'm going to edit out the parts that don't make sense and rock with just the licks that I feel are cool. dive in a little bit more. Awesome, so again, I'm gonna duplicate this track and copy down the performance again because I wanna have an alternate version of the way I'm affecting this. Drag some of these plugs down here and we'll go to the old tried and true sound shifter plug. <laughs> Now I have a lower octave underneath. Might be cool at the same time, might be cool just one or the other. lot of noise on that take. I'll go ahead and cut that out. With that 
low guy. I just want to do a little bit EQ on it. Let's see. Awesome. I love that bar. really want this guy beefed up so let's go in here and do the distortion overdrive <laughs> Good for that ending, I think. We're just gonna listen one more time through from the top. Before we do that, I'm going to create a track stack and just put my Rezo or Resonator guitar all in one track stack here. That way I can cut the lows. I know that I'm not gonna need any of that. Also do a little bit of compression to get it to sit right. So before we go too far, I'll just go to a part I know I got some Rezo. Sounded pretty good. A little bit of compression. Here it is from the top down what we got. Y'all check it out. Awesome. Hope you guys got something out of this. We'll see you next time.